service learning is a type of experiential education similar to internships, co-ops, practica, experiences where a student is connecting what they're learning in the classes with service to the community. Service learning is kind of the meeting ground between academia and community service. Um, it's a way to prepare tomorrow's professionals um, for the world by giving them hands-on, real-world experience and a way for colleges to really kind of burst the bubble that's sometimes associated with them between the college and community and really become an intentional member of the community. In service learning, we meet identified needs in the community and there's great reciprocity between the service and the learning and the community should gain as much as the student gains from the experience. There are all different kinds of service learning. It can be direct, um, where a student is actually helping a child to read. It could be indirect, making a video, designing a website. Um, it could be project-based. It could be ongoing. Um, there's really no right or wrong way because there's a large spectrum of opportunities. Ideally, any service learning course should have you working with the community in some way, shape, or form, whether it's directly or indirectly. Um, we have a lot of opportunities with some of our local community agencies, so like, such as the YWCA Food Pantry, um, Thompson Woods Apartment Complex, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Claremont County. We've worked with the YMCA and Claremont Senior Services um, and many other organizations within the area. Here at UC Claremont College, we have a lot of different opportunities for students to enjoy service learning. I'm happy to say that our program is rapidly expanding, and so where we started off a few years ago with just a handful of classes, this quarter we're, uh, we have greatly expanded all throughout time, and this quarter we have quite a few classes, and service learning is available in a number of different courses and in disciplines. My name is Molly Stevens and I got involved in the service learning through my microbiology class through Dr. Green. We went out to specific schools within the community, boys and girls clubs, and decided to demonstrate projects to younger children regarding different bacteria and viruses that were around in the area and kind of inform them as far as uh, what they have uh, constantly around them. The project was great. We had went out to New Richmond and they really enjoyed participating in it and it kind of gave them a new idea on uh, handling a basketball or a cell phone again. <laughs> as far as the opportunities for the service learning and options you have, um, we got four different options. Uh, there was child focus, there was Thomaston Woods, there was Boys and Girls Club, and there was working on a food pantry. Um, as far as hands-on, voluntary, meeting with the kids and working with them directly, uh, Boys and Girls Club and Thomaston Woods are your great options for those. One of my favorite things about service learning is bringing people together from a variety of different disciplines. The best example of that would be this year's Earth Day celebration. We brought 168 second graders from Batavia Elementary School here for Earth Day and the entire focus of the day was on sustainability and uh, learning all about animals, learning about the plants and so forth. Hi, I'm Krista Clark, Assistant Professor of Biology here at Claremont College and I'm also the chair of our Earth Day event that we had just today, 2011. Um, the second big part of our uh, function for Earth Day is our community garden and uh, I have been bringing in my non-majors biology class to help me with that. They are doing papers for their service learning on how to plan the garden, how to fertilize the garden, and how to water the garden. And I have also had them planting seeds in preparation for the warm weather uh, to get our plants out there. So we're going to have a 50 by 50 plot and we'll be planting. We have peppers, we have tomatoes, cucumbers, zucchinis. And our next project will be to talk about how to do some low impact gardening, reducing fertilizers, and reducing our impact on the environment. Uh, how I got involved with service learning was I chose to go to the Thomaston Woods and meet with Tina Lytle. 
and work with the kids that way and do a little uh, after school homework help. Having the students come out has been extremely helpful to the kids. They have bonded with the students and have gotten to know them and look forward to them coming out. So it's been very beneficial to our residents to have the service learning students come out. And I think it's been beneficial to the students because it has given them a chance to work with kids, um, you know, who after school may be going home to an empty apartment if they didn't come in here for help with their homework. So it's, it's been a win-win situation for both the students and for our kids and for the families because when the parents come home from work, the kids' homework is already done and they don't have to spend their evening doing homework with their kids. So it's been, um, it's been a, a great for not only the service learning students but also for the, the kids from Thomaston Woods. This is a great, great thing for the community. So I believe that this was very beneficial beyond a doubt. In my opinion, I believe that service learning is both not only beneficial for the community, but it's also beneficial for yourself because you're getting a real learning experience that not most people get to have or you know choose to have, and um, it's beneficial for the community because you know they don't have that many people doing you know doing the work that they're doing, and there's a definite need there. And providing the service learning program gives that opportunity for students to join into that, and you know add some extra help you know a little workforce to help out with the kids and different things and development and all that. And then for yourself, it's a great opportunity. I mean, it gives you a, you know, a sense of connection to the community and just, just feels great to help and it's a good thing. I believe it's a really good program.